I was asked by one of you to review Project Torque, a realistic racing game made by a Korean company, to which I spat in disgust. Not only did you want me to review another crappy Korean game, but you wanted me to review a realistic racing game. I hate realistic racing games. So, what did I do? I decided to take the time to re-download an old favorite of mine and review it for you. Trackmania Nations Forever is the freeware version of Trackmania Nations United Forever, and it is a steal. Zero dollars for an amazing and unrealistic racing game that is really, really fun? Yes, please. Trackmania Nations Forever is by far the best looking free to play game I've ever seen. It has stunning HDR lighting, amazingly realistic and detailed reflections, anti aliasing, gorgeous water and grass. I can go on all day. The beautiful graphics pose an issue, however. I know that many of you have terrible PCs. Trackmania is a graphically intense game, and even though it could potentially run on a high a low end PCs, you can only behold its beauty with a high end gaming PC like mine. Gameplay here takes me back to the days of playing with Hot Wheels cars. The tracks you plan are incredibly unrealistic, sporting loops, insane jumps, and an assortment of crazy twists and turns. The car you drive is also unrealistic. It has incredibly good handling and insane speed. But don't let that fool you. You'll need to be good with drifting and performing all kinds of other uh, racing moves if you want to make it on some of the harder courses. I bet you noticed how I said car. Yep only one car here, but because of the robust painting system that lets you decorate your car in every way possible, it isn't a big issue. I, of course, went the, with the colors of my motherland Israel, but you could choose from the colors of almost every nation of the world, or, as mentioned before, make up your own scheme. Another thing that I must mention is the in-game track editor. It is incredibly detailed, and you can make as simple or as complex maps as you'd like. It is very easy to learn, but it's also very difficult to master. At any given time, you can jump right into the editor and test out your map and tweak out, tweak it out to your liking. The editor alone gives this game insane replay value. The only thing is, the way racing works here is not by actually racing. Every other player's car is a ghost car, which means you can drive right through them. The goal here is to get the fastest time possible on the course you are playing on, which we have a set on which we have a set amount of time to do so. If you are a fan of competitive racing games, don't fret. Trackmania is incredibly competitive. Every track you clear, every medal you earn, decreases or increases your place on a constantly changing leaderboard of the best drivers. Reaching the top is incredibly difficult. All in all, if you want something a little different than your average Korean shooter, or big racing, or Hot Wheels fan, this game is for you. Trackmania Nations United Forever gets a 5 out of 5. If you liked my videos, please subscribe, and uh, do me a very big favor. I tell you this constantly, and just just look at Hunter Punch Cat's videos, please. He puts effort into them like I put into my reviews. and. I really like them, and I think you should just give them a quick watch. Even just just once is good, you know. If if you feel like it, you know, continue to watch, no problem. But please, guys, he needs some views, and you know, make him feel better by giving him some. This has been another review by the free to play master here. See you on the battlefield.